Now that we've taken that old movie blast in the past and put that away. Yeah. T.Y. losing in a TVT to Pure on Sunday. But this time he's going to be up against Protoss. And so far he's 3-0. and oh. So he is probably favored in this match. But Hurricane also, you know, a bit more of a rookie. But he's still, he's shown some decent games so far. He was able to beat Sora in a PvP. It's hard to prepare for a player like Hurricane because he has so many different styles that he picks from. He also hasn't played very many televised matches recently. So it's a little bit more difficult for Ty to look him up and get into his head. Now the first map will be Habitation Station. Could see fast gold bases taken from either of these players. Let's jump into game number one right away here. Samsung versus KT Rolster. Up here in the top left in the pink for Samsung Galaxy Khan, that is their color. This is Hurricane, Protoss player. And to the top right in red, formerly known as Baby, it's Taeyang, always known as by his initials TY for KT Rolster. I actually really like this color thing. Yeah, um, me too. It's going to take maybe a couple of weeks to learn them and get them down, get them memorized. Probably have them memorized by next uh, next week anyway. But yeah. um, it's pretty cool. Very standard. I like it. It gives an identity to the, the players. Yeah. Just a little bit of extra flair, I guess you could say. And uh, consistency. I really I really feel like that's the, the big one. So this map has a gold base that you can take as your third or your natural, depending on how you want to play it. We don't really see in this matchup players taking the gold base too quickly. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to lift your CC, for example, and uh, and go to the gold base early on. So that that, that type of build kind of died in uh, when gold mineral patches getting extra mining from uh, mules died. You know, and that patch change came through. That kind of build kind of fell away because you really needed that to make up for the lost mining time. And also the lost production time. We have an SCB going to hide a second barracks to the south. So he's not actually putting his second barracks forward, but just hiding it completely. This is going to be interesting. If uh, if Hurricane sends a scout over and sees no gas, he could maybe expect CC, but um, he could also expect something like this. Second barracks on the way. We're going to have to see how exactly Hurricane deals with this. Well, first of all, he's not scouting at all, right? So yeah. what TY probably plans to do with this is to pull four or five SCVs from his main base and just bunker the natural. It's not going to be an all-in. It's not fast enough to be an all-in because the SCVs are so far away. I mean, the uh, Marines, that is to say. It's going to eBay block first. This is going to be very annoying for the delaying the Nexus, meaning that if the Nexus is delayed and it doesn't finish before the uh, the Marines get there, then maybe he won't be able to use the overcharge on the Nexus. So, yeah. He's just trying to eliminate any option that Hurricane could possibly have to defend this build. It's a very, very interesting build. Very uh, meticulous. Very calculated. Yeah. And uh, still, actually, the eBay isn't even scouted, as far as I can tell. Uh, and for that reason, he's going to be he's going to be pretty annoyed when he finds out. Yeah. I mean, he's he skipped the Zealot, right? He's even saying his Mothership Core the wrong way. Not going to be any Marines at home to defend, however, so he's going to have to repair SCVs if the Mothership Corps doesn't turn around. Yeah. At the same time, T.Y. is hiding his Marines down at that south barracks. He's probably going to wait until he has a decent chunk of them and maybe send them all over at the same time. Here he does this exactly with two and that one SCV. He's going to have five here with more S or, uh, Marines rallying here. Yeah, more Marines rallying across the map right now. And how many SCVs is he going to pull? It looks like he's just going to use two or three. Not really pulling a, a big chunk of them from the main base. Mothership Core, meanwhile, is arriving at his opponent's main. And he might even want to just finish the eBay and make turrets to help against the Mothership Core here. The Command Center is starting the natural. He's going to lose that SCV. Yeah, but at the same time, what's going to be lost for Hurricane? This Stalker being caught out a little bit, taking only one health damage, but still all the shields down. A ton of probes pull here. The second Stalker pops out. 
Yeah, he needs to bring those Marines up here, to be honest. Uh, he needs those bunkers if he really wants to make this end of the game, uh, which it looks like is kind of his plan here. He's going to have to cancel that bunker. No cancel. No cancel. I feel like that was a little overzealous that that bunker is so far forward. Yeah, I mean, he even tried to queue up two of them. Yeah. I would like to see a bunker maybe even on the low ground first. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna bring a lot of SCVs, you can do this. But look at what happens now when the bunker doesn't complete. Stalkers will just destroy your Marines. They have the better range. They do more damage. They have more hit points. You know, uh, they they're faster. Yeah. Mothership Corps will get away here. It looks like. So now what we have is a CC going down. It obviously didn't kill Hurricane, but he's gonna have a bunker at the bottom of his ramp. He's gonna have to deal with that a little bit. But he has the Stargate. Yeah, completely unscouted, to mention as well, and he's got a huge probe lead, 27 to 22, and with no Nexus, it's going to be pretty tough for him to actually uh, keep up with that. It looks like he's just going to do a 4-gate with, with Oracles. Uh, it could work. I mean, he's, he's going to be able to use his gateways to break out of the ramp and, and go down and go for a big attack. There's already a turret set up here, on the other hand. He's playing it very soon. T.Y. is ready for this. That Oracle actually taking a bit of damage. <laughs> Almost goes down. He goes down to half health there. So he was very prepared to UI for that. He's even making bunkers at the front as well. I mean, he's not really committing to the bunker at the ramp. Like he's only got a few Marines in there. So he's gonna get break it's gonna get broken easily. But he's not doesn't seem really concerned about that. He's just gonna defend at home instead. You know, it's just a very soft, very light contain. He's gonna try to make his opponent trade inefficiently against him. Here we go. How many units does he lose here? Looks like he targets the sentry down. He's gonna try to run by into the main base. Not gonna get anything done though. Not gonna get much done besides a little bit of scouting here. Sees all four of the gateways. And of course he knows that Stargate is over there by that pylon, which he did see. Yeah, man, the Oracle here barely escaping there with 10 point hit points left. It's just gonna be void rays that we see here uh, for Hurricane. Yeah, it's I mean, gonna be void rays. You see three bunkers being made at the front of TY as well. He's scared about this. He saw all of the gateways. He needs to do damage here because, yeah, he's starting a Nexus, but it's so late. The SAV count is already catching up a little bit here. He's got double mules. He's got a lot of production. His stim is going to be finishing up, you know, eventually. Uh, so the three bunkers here are going to be very difficult to break. I don't know what he's going to try to do because he needs to, like, maybe try to split the army, bring the Oracle and the Voidry in the main base, harass there. He needs to do some damage somehow. He can't just attack up into these bunkers, especially now with one Stalker alone. That would be a disaster for that little guy. That Stalker getting a little ahead of himself. One Marine trying to attack that Nexus all by himself as well. But he does scout it, which is the important thing there. Yeah. Oh, the double expand, though, I really do like. Taking the gold base, that's something that, that, could be, that could be good for him. He also gets a few kills here with the Oracle now up to seven. So Hurricane's not out of this yet. Yeah, he's definitely not out of this. If he can contain a little bit down here, he knows TY's on the back foot. He, he sees the three bunkers at the front. I mean, he's, he has a lot of probes as well. He's up towards 40 now. Yeah, he's going to have triple probe production. The starport is very late. This is something he knows, so he knows drop play is not going to be a problem for him. And those bunkers that were forced really hurts uh, TY because he would have liked to start a third CC while he was doing this. Or if he doesn't plan to do that, he would have liked to add additional barracks, which he's adding now, now that he's salvaged his bunkers, because... If he doesn't make the bunkers, he might die. So he has to do this. This is one of the, the power that one of the abilities that Protoss has to force on Terran is to make bunkers to, to get defensive. Yeah, actually, Parting did a similar thing to Flash in one of their games, where Parting just used Temple Play to absolutely crush one of the armies of Flash after he did a similar technique, uh, just going really aggressive towards Flash Flash's base, forcing him to make a bunch of bunkers while he got a third up, and then he was able to successfully defend his third. And from there, he just had the economy and the army to. Kill flash, basically. Yeah, this it's, is. I mean, this is a very similar situation. What's What's different about this one is that the third base that he takes is a gold base, even. Yeah. Uh, Whenever Spot TV games casters are in the crowd, um, in, and with the gold base, you get even more power mineral wise to just attack your opponent after you've had that third base up for so long. So this this move out right now for Ty is so critical. He needs to do a lot of damage here. Yeah. The difference in Flash's game was that he moved out, and he wasn't able to do much damage. This is very nice. He gets the revelation with the Oracle. He knows exactly where this army is. Yeah, and I don't know, man. I think he's got way too much to defend this already. The timing is just too slow. I think that Hurricane will crush this army if it attacks him head-on. And if he doesn't attack, then, I mean, he's just going to get too far behind. The factory's even starting to take damage. 
Yeah. He's going to try to go for a drop here. Two medevacs going towards the main, it looks like. But Hurricane's got to know this is a possibility. He's sending that Void Ray over as well to defend. This is such nice play at a Hurricane right now. Yep. Uh, plus one finishing for both players almost at the same time here. So no upgrade disadvantages for either of them. That gold base is just mining more and more minerals. He's getting further and further ahead. He's powered up all those gateways. He's adding more zealots, and he has blink completed. Charge has now started. This is a really big Terran army, though. Where's the rest of the Protoss? Good time warps here. He needs force fields, though, as well. He needs a lot of force fields. TY has committed to this 100%. He pulled a ton of SCVs here. If he can possibly take out the army of Hurricane here, he could win the game. The force fields here are decent. He delays the last one to make sure he can trap some of these units. The army on the left side, though, gets demolished. Once those force fields fade, he's going to be able to push through. There's no more overcharges, no more Mothership Core. He lost that. A little bit of indecision here by TY. He's not sure which direction he wants to attack from. And it seems like he wants to go towards this army right now. Not many force fields left here, and a big Terran army left over. Yep, he needs a few more force fields here. He just does not have them, and TY is going to come right up the ramp. He knows this is his only chance, his only hope. Probes off the line here. That Void at the back doing a lot of extra damage to those medevacs, forcing a really good micro here by TY. A few more warp into units would be ideal here. He's now warping in a few more zealots. Charge is only halfway done. He's even getting a Templar right now. Two feedbacks go down. Very nice feedbacks here. No more healing going to go down. A lot of stims already happening, but there's not much army here for Hurricane right now. He's That's... tried to warp in a bunch more zealots, and now TY is going to try to drop in the main. He just needs a few more warp ins. He needs a little bit more time. You know, the Nexus did survive here. Worker count still 48 to 28. It looks like this Terran army is going to be pushed back. TY is so close to ending the game, he just could not do it. Drops out those Marauders. A few more zealots coming through. Even the Oracle now, considering joining the fight, as there's no real anti air here. Yeah, there's not many Marines on the ground. I think three or four, but he's producing a bunch more, and they're coming across the map. It seems like Hurricane has held for now, but this army of TY is still really scary. Those meals helping TY keep his economy up on that two base. Yeah, just look at the army supply. It's 56 to 29. He has this really efficient army with the medevacs there as well. Here come those charged zealots. The Protoss army is very strong on the other hand, especially with that AoE with the Archon. Plus one armor is about to finish for Hurricane here. I wish he would have waited for that. It does finish now. He's warping in five zealots. He has so many minerals here, but this army of TY is still alive. He's starting to lose his medevac, so that Archon does go down. Here come the zealots. He needs to make sure that with his army, not cut off like this. He's actually going to lose them because he's split up here. And those zealots want to participate in the fight, but they're they're just too, there's too few of them. The factory is even going to be landed here to cut off surface area, and that nexus is going to go down. That's great for TY, but it's only one small step here. Yeah, that's huge. TY back at home, he's been making SCVs. He's getting his economy back to normal, and his army supply right now is really nice. I think Hurricane's going to be able to hold at the ramp here with some really nice force fields if he does go for that. He just doesn't have enough range damage. You know, he's got zealots here. There's too many marauders kiting him. Now he's got that flank from the right side with those zealots from earlier. Feedbacks go down as well. It just looks like TY has too much. His army is too cost efficient here. He's got those medevacs still alive, and there's way too much kiting, and he's starting to wear this Protoss army down. He's able to do it. There's just not enough AoE, like you said. Even mixing in some Widow Mines here, trying to get some AoE damage of his own. It looks like he's not really going to be able to push up towards this second base just yet to finish it just yet, but I think once he gets his reinforcements, he could possibly go for it. Yeah, I mean, I think he will. He's going to have way more medevacs. He's going to have an additional Widow Mine here. And his, his composition is just better because there's not enough range damage. Yeah, AoE is nice too, even with the Archons, but if the Archons can't fire, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And he's just kiting him to death here. He's just able to poke up here and try to beat so many of these units with the concussive shells. Just four Marauders like this, able to do so much damage to the Protoss right now. This is one of the weaknesses of Protoss uh, against Terran. It's it's so difficult to make a composition that is able to combat Marine Marauder, especially Heavy Marauder. You make too many Stalkers, then the Marauders crush you, but if you don't make enough Stalkers, then your Zealots just get kited. You need to have some range damage at the back. That's where the Archons come through. He's trying to hold this off. He's pulling a few more probes out, but again, good position here by T.Y. on the ramp. He's got that Widow Mine to fire as well. Not looking good. Meanwhile, though, a big run by over here. Very nice run by just two Zealots there at the natural. TY is going to cause some problems for him back there. But TY continuing with this such good control right now at the bottom of this ramp at the natural. There's just not enough Protoss here. Two Archons going down. The Mules dropped. And TY will continue his perfect record against Protoss. Eliminating the last of the probes here at the natural. More Archons being warped in, but it doesn't matter. This is over. This is game. Hurricane looking defeated. And he is defeated. GG. Wow game looked horrible for TY, 
His opponent was on three bases. He committed heavily to a defense. Just knew he had to move across the map with a superior army before the Paralysis Warpens really paid for themselves with that gold base, before he had charge, before he had those additional forge upgrades. And the attack was well timed. The micro was what won him the game. It's just so difficult as a Protoss when you start to lose fights slowly but steadily. You have to have your whole army together. You have to have a good ratio of zealots, stalkers, and sentries. And then, of course, if you can have archons, that's nice to have in there as well. But you have to have all these units working together. If you can't actually you know, close the gap and hit the Marauders with your Zealots or your or your Archons, then TY is just going to eventually out-trade you and kill your base, and then he's going to have too many medevacs, you're not going to have the, the composition that you need. Yeah. But TY did a bunch of really good things there. The army control is impeccable. He just made really good decisions as well. He knew he wasn't going to get a third base up at that time. He had to go for the attack. He pulled just enough, uh, enough SCVs to make the attack pretty much fatal at that point. He had to wear the Protoss down a lot after that, of course, but, you know, with that many SUVs, he was able to get enough tanking for his back Marine Marauder army. And, uh, you know, Hurricane played pretty well as well. Um, I just wish he would have had, you know, some better army control as well. I think he could have done a little bit better there. Like you said, just keeping the army together, maybe some more zilts in the front in the beginning. Or, or I think another opp opportunity he had was to, after he started to lose a few fights at that gold base, warp in his zealots at home instead, get his whole army together, and just sacrifice the third base saying, you know what, I've got the better tech, I have Archons and charge zealots, you've thrown away a lot of SCVs, want to fight your army head on on my terms instead of just trying to hold that third nexus. Could have been another solution.